we had a wonderful time camping in Everglades National Park. <laughs> and now we headed to our next campground, which is a free campground. We found free, 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 free. We are about a mile and a half from our campground. Ooh, a lot of gravel right there. All right. All right. Now we back on track. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. But so, you know, I didn't even see a gate three. So I got to get the gate code out. When you book these free campgrounds in Florida to the water management districts, management districts, they are free, but you got to register online and get a gate code. So I think the horses would be to the left and we're going straight ahead to the campground. Not a question. Yes, not a question. Must do it. Uh, they changed monthly, but they changed uh, yesterday, I think. If you have a problem, you can go try to see the camp also. Problem solved. We at the wrong <laughs> gate. We at the right gate to begin with, number one. And the campground host for this campground came out and told us we at the wrong campground. So we got to go about a mile and a half to gate number one. we are riding on look like packed dirt uh, could be Florida sand I don't know <laughs> and you know we're riding on regular street tires so we can if we <laughs> I know <laughs> and we can get to here on regular street tires on gold wings you can get here on your bike even a pedal bike even a pedal bike <laughs> but if you ride in the car tracks that already packed it down for you should be all right. Yes, yeah, because the middle is it's kind of heavy. In fact, I'm about to get over on the right side just in right. case any vehicles come down. Yeah, I don't know how far down it is, but he says a loop he said about by a pond. Yeah, about half mile. It's about half mile. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Do not feed the alligators. There we go. <laughs> Do not feed the alligators. Ah. Tell, the, tell the alligators don't eat the humans. That only means don't get close to them or you will be feeding it. I know. Put the code in. Put the code. Look at me. Okay. Oh, maybe I could do it this way. That way I can get the bike back just in case it swing back. And tent or pop up camping only. RVs are prohibited. We're going to check in with the campground host. I think it's pick your own site once you check in. Pull it out. Copy that. What I don't see is the pond he was talking about. I want to see a pond. Okay, I see a camper right there. Okay, I see the pond. <laughs> oh, that's pretty nice. Well, yeah, we've been getting some really okay. good free campsites here. I see number Camera. five is open. Um, number seven is open. 
Like he got a tent like we had when we took to Alaska. Oh. Five and seven is open. Oh, look, they got a gate. I heard that. I like that. Number nine is not open. That's him at number nine. Number 10 is open on the left. They're pretty nice. Uh, if you had oh, a big yeah. you had a big rig, they can actually fit. But since you can't bring a big rig here, if you motorcycle and tent camping in, this is good. Kind of like 10. You say you like 10? I say I kind of like 10. Let's okay. look around and see what else. 12 is open. I have no idea how many they currently have. Okay, that must be the whole that's the big thing you were talking about. 13 is open. Yeah, he did say the blue thing. Um, I like the ones that's on the opposite side of the pond, to tell you the truth. And we could see the road. Well, we could put the tent up and see anything we want to see, so. All right, let's check in with the host. And go get a spot. Okay. Oh, this thing about to go down. <laughs> That's not good. I don't have my, my um kickstand pad either. You got yours? Yeah. Huh? Yes. You got to don't let anybody in there, but you might have to go check in. Whew. A whole family here, smiling and everything. Whew. Hello. I almost dropped it. <laughs> I told her I'm gonna drop my bike because I was saying, uh, Williams, we were supposed to be in yesterday. The what? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you like 10? So let's go see what's else available. Yeah. Look, they got a little gravel over here better than that sand. Okay, well, oh, 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 oh look at 15. A little hidden back there. <laughs> let, me, let me let me drop this and go look at 15. Not literally drop it. <laughs> Cause they got the house right there. So this is 15. Right next to the host. Wow, it's big. Oh no, not this one. They got the kids play thing right there, literally right next mm -hmm. to the host. <laughs> I don't know, wake up to them. <laughs> <laughs> jumping, <laughs> jumping on our bike. <laughs> Yo, look a new jungle gym. I'm telling you, and you saw the play, the play thing over there. Okay, no, I didn't see it. I hear the um, dumpster. There's the dumpster. No, don't want to be by the dumpster, that's for sure. Oh, we had enough dumpsters and raccoons. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I feel so stupid. <laughs> what? <laughs> you gotta see. I couldn't find my glasses. I see him. They're right here. On my nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, below on my lip, rather. I'm like, what is that touching my lip? <laughs> okay, they have 15 sites here. One five sites, okay. One five, unless there's one right there to the left. Nope, that's none. So we're back at the beginning. Okay, yeah, we're back at the gate, so let's go around and mm -hmm. see what we can get. The pond, she said that's a weld and drinking water. What is this? Yeah. Not to the right, nothing. Okay. Ah, because he said you might wake up with somebody next to you, so I guess that's what she mean. Yeah, with, like with that. the site so like open to the left. So, five, you don't like that one? I like five too. I, what you think about seven? Kind of deep back in there. Seven, too. Okay, seven. Five, seven, and ten. I'm a roll by seven and compare it to ten, so I'm turning in. Then I'm going to face outward. So, you just stay right there, and then I'll come back. Okay, eight. I think somebody using eight. So I'm gonna just park it and then go look at at ten right quick. So this seven look like it could be a big dual. Oh, site. I like this seven. Seven huge. So you want to stay by seven? Yeah. So I'm gonna look at ten anyway, just to see um how that water, how the water. I side like it because if, if, if we're not close to the water, but we're close to the water. Yeah. So you want to just come on in? Or you well, look me, at you 10 and see how okay. you feel about 10. Okay. So looking at seven, most likely that's going to be it. 
fire pit, picnic table. Um, it was good. She said you can just move when you want to move. You don't have to right. stay at it long as you obviously don't get another day. So I see no problem with patches in here because they say pop up trailers, and we see that A frame right there. Oh, this is nice. I like it. I mean, I like the water. I, I like seven better than at ten. Hello. <laughs> and that's the outhouse, shower, and other camp campground. Oh, go down, pull in seven, baby. We are settled, site number seven, and do purest family campground. Yeah, kind of get just like that. That when we pull out, we just gotta go around the whole circle. Shit, we can put it anywhere. Anywhere, you see, this is huge. <laughs> we could put like 10 tents here. She didn't mention anything about firewood. I wonder if they sell it there. Looked like there was a trail going back here somewhere. I don't see no cracker gators and alodiles. <laughs> Hi, let's just figure out what we're going to set up and do it. Be careful when you pull that out. Say again. Be careful when you pull the bags out so we won't rip them. See, that looks a lot, lot flatter now. What? Well, good thing is, it's not as windy as I thought it was going to be. No. This is a nice spot. All. Beautiful sun. Baby, where the cover? Where's the cover? I'm checking the ground. I'm sure I know. Sharp stuff. So I was talking, I mean, we're not expecting the rain. But I was talking about a dining fly for at night. You can put it up here, stay under. And, mm. The reason we don't have the cover on it, because when we left, Everglades? Yeah, it was wet. It was, two storms came in, super wet, super soaked. We didn't want to, even though we was going to put it up the next day, we didn't want to really cover it wet. So we took it, let it dry, and then fold it up and put it separate. Now we're going to put it back on here. Let's bring it over, sir. Just a quick tip for people who are not camping because every hamper who does this know this. When you got something like this with corners and your guidelines, never ever go directly in front or behind. Everything is always 45 degree angle. Now for us, our exit and entry, I like to make it short. Instead of having it all the way out here, I have it short right here. Instead of putting a stake in first, I put the stake inside of the cord. Have a little less the things to do on the tension part of it. I put the stake inside the cord, stretch it out 45 degree. Now, obviously it's not gonna reach the ground. This one I always want short, so we stepping out and we having to take a turn. We don't have to worry about running into the lines. We know exactly where they are. Plus, we have these <laughs> glow in the dark. I guess you call them glow in the dark. What color would you call this? Safety green or something Safety like that? Safety green. And I just put the stake in there. Neon green. Pull the stake. These are regular cheap stakes you can get from anywhere. Now, if you're a serious, serious camper, go to a real camping store and get you some stakes that are going to stay on the ground. But I put them on an angle, 45 degrees. And, well, this ground's soft. You don't have to really hammer it in. I broke my mallet on the last one, so just hammer it in. All the way to the ground, tension automatically. I didn't have to use the tension strap at all. Same thing on the other side. 
Now in the rear, we have obviously two cars. We have two cars on the rear also. The rear cars is placed all the way out. Some people are gonna tell you, you no, know, you should face them that's even all over the place. We do it depending on how strong the wind is. The wind is extremely strong, put them short, very short. If it's gonna be a nice day, we put them long except the area that we're gonna be exiting and entering. But actually have a, a, a tent similar to this, or the most common tents are like this anyway, have corners. And that's where it's short. See, I'm not going to touch this tension strap part of it. I'm just going to put the stake in the cord already. And pull tight, back it down to the ground. And it's easy. Well, this ground just happened to hold be tight. Hold nice. tight, hold tight, wait. This one, obviously they can't see me. I ain't worried about it. This one I want long, but still 45. I'm in the rear doing the exact same thing I done in the front, except I want my car a little longer. Kind of even it out. I like this process because it is, you don't have to worry about the tension strap anymore. We all set up ready to camp. We haven't blown the air mattress up yet. I think we're gonna do it when we come back, but we're going to the groceries. Here's some food. Okay, we have four days left here. They got four days remaining here. And I'm gonna empty my trunk, my saddlebags. We're gonna take two bikes. Normally we'll take one bike if we stay in one or two days. We we'll need enough food for four days. Plus we have a cooler. And if it's if we camping somewhere for a week, or something like that, or two weeks, which we never I don't think we've done two weeks on this trip yet. We've done eight days now for two weeks. No, we've done ten days. Ten days. Then I would empty my seat bag, a big giant seat bag. Put the back on the seat, then we have more space, more storage to get groceries. So I'm just going to empty my trunk right now. Okay, we got a, a change of plan. We decided to pick something up just for tonight and then go grocery shopping tomorrow since it's getting kind of late. We didn't want to cook anything late in the dark. I mean, we got lights and all that, but pick up something for the night. Then we're going out tomorrow morning Probably get groceries on our way back because we're going to ride Lake o Obachobi. We are right, I would say, probably about 10 miles or less from Lake Obachobi. Okachoke, what is it called? <laughs> I don't remember. But it's the biggest lake in Florida, which also have the most alligators in Florida in it, too. Last time I looked it up, it was 9,000 plus alligators in there. So our ticket won't be no swimming.
We came into Indian Town, nice town. They got grocery stores. You can get your supplies. They got Family Dollar, IGA grocery store over there. And we decided to come right there, right there. Right there and just grab a sandwich. Cake over there staring at me. Why are you staring at me? Why are you staring at me? She was staring. She liked me. You're wrong. Never wrong, even when I'm wrong. <laughs> We're gonna get us a couple of sandwiches for tonight. Maybe up tomorrow. We're gonna visit Lake Okeechobee and probably head out to the beach. Oh, see what we gotta do. Whatever you like. You can have whatever you like. Yeah. Cause she kept saying, I leave tomorrow. The other couple that she's over there with said they don't leave to the tent. I think some of one of us getting the the dates wrong. Right, we are back. Yeah, everything look good. Why the why the cube look open like somebody unzip it? It is open, baby. That's opened. Let me go check. see anything look disturbed or anything I don't see anything look disturbed or they look as if I mean not like they could still have thrown anything that I mean all the people all the people that's here is people I already met they're pretty good people you know oh, okay all right let's grab some dinner good night everybody peace